Welcome to CellTech Geosynthetics. CellTech Slope Grid. Easy to install, inexpensive, and eco friendly. The first thing I'd like you to do is go to our website on our CAD section and pull off Slope Grid. The Slope Grid CAD will give you the information that you need for earth anchors, tendons, J hooks, and tendon clamps. Most erosion problems are due to steep slopes and non vegetation. A lot of waterfront homes are built on high cliffs. Typically, the slopes that face west have low vegetation due to sunlight. It takes a lot longer for vegetation to take hold. Slope grid is inexpensive and easy to install. All right, now you're ready to start the job. You need to pick out earth anchors. They're the most important thing because they anchor everything to the hillside. With a little bit of math, we can figure these things out. Just consult CellTech Geosynthetics for your answers. An earth anchor has a Healy arc screw bit on the end, comes in different lengths, and an open eye end on the top. Tendons are attached to the earth anchor and run through the slope grid. And J hooks and tendon clamps are attached to the tendons. Tendons are screwed in at the top of the hill. You will screw in four per grid which is approximately two and a half to three feet apart. Now you need to pre-drill your holes through your slope grid for the tendon. You can find the layout on the CADs. We're gonna use geotextile fabrics on this job. Sometimes they're needed and sometimes they're not. This job in the spring has water coming right out of the hillside. The geotextile will prevent undermining. Most slope grid jobs do not require this because the object is for the root system to grow into the side of the hill. We're also going to want to pin this down so when we apply the slope grid it doesn't slide down the hill. Connecting the grid is important. Together, you can do this process on the ground or after it's stretched out over the slope. If you use a staple gun, you need to use stainless steel staples. Most cases with slope grid you'll need a pneumatic staple. This is an air driven tool. It works with slope grids 4 and 6 inch cell depths. You can use a handheld stapler for the 4 inch as well. Make sure all your holes are pre-drilled and now you're ready to run your tendons through the pre-drilled holes. What you do is pull them out of the end of the slope grid and you're ready to use a tendon clamp. You're going to loop the tendon and use the tendon clamp to squeeze the tendons together to make a continuous loop. Install all your tendons and all the pre-drilled holes before expanding them. Once your tendons are in and your grids are connected together, you're just ready to pull it up the hill. Your tendons should line up with your earth anchors, then attach them to the top of the earth anchor. When your tendons are attached to the earth anchor, then you'll go to the bottom of the hill and pull your tendons tight. We use J-hooks to fasten them down and give them tension. The length of the J-hook you need is four times the cell depth. J-hooks can be made on site using a rebar bender. You can find directions on how to make these on our website. Tendons are used to put tension on the tendon that we've made our loop. Simply loop it over and bang it in the ground. Placement of these items are very important they need to be placed evenly throughout. And they can be placed over the tendon to give it extra tension. Once slope grid is all anchored properly, you are now ready for infill. Once infill with all material, you're gonna cover it with a good erosion control blanket. After you've pinned that properly, you are now ready to plan it. This job, we used Liriope plugs. They were the best selection due to the shallow root system we were trying to achieve. And thank you again for your interest in slope grid.
That's www.celltechdirect.com, 888-851-0051.